Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. I guess early this morning about what 1.30 your time there in Hawaii, you were jolted awake by a moderate earthquake. Here we have an image of the East Rift Zone. Let me refresh this. There we go. It is currently almost, um, what, 7.18 there in Hawaii. And this uh, view of um, the East Rift Zone. Now, this was taken by um, HVO uh, just before 7 a.m. their time. Let me pull this up a little bit. And let's come down and take a look at the uh, hydrothermal plant that they are working on getting restarted. USGS said it was a magnitude 3.5, whereas EMSC said it was a magnitude 4.2. And they have testimonies here. Um, mean, I'm not going to try and pronounce it. Here they said it woke them up and felt mildly uh, near um, Palahoa. Sorry for pronouncing it wrong. This one here says it lasted about 10 seconds. The felt report on USGS, and they don't have individual dots. If any of you sent in your reports, well, they're not showing them. The reason I laugh is because I sent in a felt report for an earthquake and USGS never listed it either. But 95 people said they reported feeling this earthquake. On the intensity page here, we can see some of the reports. I'll pull this down for you. Now, I have reported that farther away the monitor, the smaller the earthquakes would register. Here we have manual reports, 4.28, 4.30. Uh, 4.09, 4.04, 4.34, 4.20, 4.20, 4.20, 4.20, 4.20, 4.20, 4.20, 4.20, 4.20, 4.20, 4.20, 4.20, 4.20, 4.20, 4.20, 4.20, 
um, a 1.9, 3.7 kilometers. Um, that one's real shallow, a 0, 0.0. But that's offshore, and they got a lot of undersea volcanoes there. Of course, then you worry about the slump. And remember, I talked about the slump. Let me pull this over. The debris field from um, the slump that happened there, what, 100,000 years ago from Pala Hala, is actually greater than the debris field um, that came off on the uh, southern side of Hawaii. You can see that there. Let me zoom back in a little bit. See that? This is all the debris field. Here we have from USGS.gov uh, the heat temperatures from um, Halemama uh, Volcano and the water that's down at the bottom of the lake. And this is a thermal image. Um, I refreshed this. So this is from today at 7.16 um, time there in Hawaii. Let me pull this down and we'll look at this thermal image again. The VOG reports from Hawaii. Now this is from yesterday. I'll first click on this one here. Um, it goes by parts per million and they have an animation. Yep, you can see where most of it's coming from. It's this location right here um, above Palahala. Let me go to the other one. And this shows a larger image of the other islands and the fog as it goes across um, volcanic fog. Yeah, and it looks like part of it is extending um, not quite as far as the uh, rift zone. But let it circulate through again so it can show. There we go. Yeah, this stuff is not good to breathe. There, I can go uh, one frame at a time. And I want to go towards the end of it because it shows... Yeah, the heavier VOG. Yeah, does it look like smog? Does it look like fog? It's actually volcanic gases. Look at that. And then we're back at the beginning. The tilt meter for Kilauea, the summit for the past two days. And we got it for the week. And this also includes the east rift zone. Looks like they stopped recording that. That must be the light green line there. And the summit. And then for the past five years. And then Pua O'O Cone. Yeah, you can see that's been rising up too. What I did find is they are at level yellow alert. Seismicity above background level. Summit inflation continues. And I'll ch click on that other. But this has not been updated since Thursday, August 13th. It said in the last week there's been... 164 small magnitude earthquakes, all below a magnitude 2.5. Uh, most of the earthquakes occurred at shallow depths of less than 8 kilometers or approximately 5 miles below ground level. Most of them, yeah. But in my last report about what was going on, I would say most of them were a lot shallower than that. Gas concentrations at the summit and... Sulfur core monitoring sites remain stable, both below two parts per million SO2, that'd be sulfur dioxide. Femoral temperatures as measured at the summit are approximately 98 uh, Celsius within the normal range. Temperatures at sulfur cone are lower, but within the normal range for this site. All right, deformation data. I was able to find it. This is at Mauna Loa. What is the green line? Let's see. Okay, the green line would be raw data. But you can see here, for the past month, we got 
a slow increase in uplift and let's go down here for the past year past five years um, different earthquakes that have been measured up there each dot would be uh, an earthquake for that day and then the past five years but like I said only recently have the earthquakes become much shallower so here we have the summit of Mauna Loa and we have the depth of the earthquake these are all above sea level minus 0 0.2 minus 1.1 that was yesterday well that was on the 14th this was the 15th uh, minus 2.1 minus 1.4 minus 1.1 minus 0 0.8 minus uh, 1.2 that was on the 13th and it goes on yeah I don't think their data is up to date in total for the last week there is 30 earthquakes here and it looks like all of them let me double check but it looks like all of them are above sea level yep every one of them yeah their data on that other page which is um old um yeah these this isn't good a lot of magnitude 1.9 so here's a 2.4 there's its location a 2.3 minus 3.1 kilometers that's above sea level 2.3 another 2.3 a 2.1 and it looks like 2.3 is the largest and that was on the 13th the other one was on the 11th and that was also on the 11th a 2.4 I think it would be very devastating if they had an eruption not just at the uh, east rift zone but also at the same time at Mauna Loa everyone there please stay safe um, if you experienced any of these earthquakes and some of you did post that um, you did feel them on my YouTube channel one person said they had uh, small pictures fall off the wall put your comments down below did you have damage how long did it last I assume it woke you up being that early in the morning what have the animals of late been doing you know the natural habitat the birds or your pets um, what direction did it feel like it came from you know all the information that you can think of the sound of it etc so that's all i have for you right now if any thoughts or comments or questions please put it down below thank you for watching thank you for subscribing please stay safe and i'll talk to you later god bless you bye